Hey campers, welcome back to the Science in a Box. I'm Counselor Jenna and today we are making oobluck. So for this one, before we even start, I will tell you do not pour this into the drain of your sink to get rid of it. Please do not do that because it's just going to clog the drain. And if you do, pour a lot, a lot of water with it, all right? So for this, you're going to be using your cornstarch and some water, all right? And if you would like to, you can get your handy dandy food coloring that we put in your box for you and mix it in to make it a little more colorful. So you're gonna take two cups of your cornstarch and I'm putting it into a tray like this, all right? Now you wanna make sure that it's not super clumpy, you want it all nice and fluffy, all right? And then, you're gonna be adding your water, all right? Now, it calls for one cup of water, all right? But you're gonna pour in a little bit at a time, all right? So, I'm gonna pour in just enough so I see most of it is starting to mix well, all right? You're gonna mix it around a little bit because you don't want to put too much water in it or else you're gonna have to put more cornstarch in it. And it's gonna be a battle to find the perfect mixture of water and cornstarch, all right? So, see how this is? All right, I still have a lot of cornstarch over here. So I'm gonna pour some more water into this area. All right, but I don't wanna pour too much or else it's gonna be a battle. All right, and when you're mixing it, you're gonna have some cornstarch underneath too. All right? Now, I made the mistake of adding a little too much water into this. See right there? So, for this, you can either pour some of that water in really quickly, but you gotta be careful because when you tip it over, the oobleck is going to be like a liquid, all right? Which is the really cool thing about this, ready? So, oh no. All right, let me clean my fingers off really quick so then I can show you guys how cool it is without getting it all over the camera. All right, so. See this? If I touch it really hard, it's like a solid, right? But if I slowly poke it, my finger goes right into it. See? That's because it's dependent on pressure, all right? So when you touch it really hard and fast, you're making all of the cornstarch molecules combined really quickly, all right? You're not giving them time to get away. But if you touch it slowly, then it's giving the cornstarch time to get out of the way. This is called a non-Newtonian fluid. Kind of like solid, kind of like a liquid. A little bit of both. All right, so ready? I'm holding it, I'm letting go. It's kind of like a really thick paint. But as soon as I squeeze it, it's hard, all right? Can't see it, but on the inside of my hands, it's really hard, see? And then you let it go a little bit, and it goes back to the liquid. Little fun fact, the name actually came from the Dr. Seuss book, and it was about this little boy who wanted something besides snow and rain, so it started raining, oobla. And that's where the name come from. So thank you, Dr. Seuss, for giving this super cool substance a super cool name. All right. So, and that is all for today. Have a swabby doo da day.